Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Visio Online. What I want to do in this little module is just show you some of the extra features that you can get when you use Visio Online. So to get Visio Online, I'm, I'm on Microsoft 365 homepage. Click on the top left hand button, all the apps display. Visio is down the bottom here for me. You might have to search for it, but I've got it there. I'm going to click on it and it will load up all the default templates that I can then look through to see which one, which one I want. So you've got these basic ones across the top and your recently used ones down the bottom there and then this little option takes you to all the major template sets. So you've got popular diagrams at the top and then you've got an arrow giving you some other options and you can see that moves across. Same with this next one, block diagrams, some very very visual block diagrams and down here basic flow charts and then not so basic flow charts coming down organizational charts you've only got a couple of them or a few of them and then this infographic timelines there's lots of these and you can see all those there and then some more block diagrams like so then these are the ones and then this bottom one process diagrams I'm just going to go on to that I'm just going to pick one of these so you can see how this works go back a bit I'm going to pick this one job application process now you don't have to use this structure you can get into the template and then totally change what this is so I'm going to do that because some really cool features in here if I click on create some of these icons are not available in the desktop version but you can actually open this in the desktop version once you've activated but these are the basic shapes so if I just you can see you can click on all of these you've got the little arrows which will just give you random shapes if you click on them get on if I can actually get on one of them like that there look gives you these quick shapes which are not really relevant to what you've got here if I click on one of these um, circles I can click on it you get them coming out of there as well all over the place and it's just these this five sets of shapes which are the default shapes so I don't want any of this I'm just going to go control a which highlights the whole lot and then delete the whole lot because what you've got over on the stencil side are all these extra stencils so you've got this one here symbols we've well, got characters smiley faces and sad faces etc different gender types and lots and lots of different modules which you can just drag on and build up your flow, your work process flow using these. You've then got this stencil which are process shapes and again you've got different things down here. Now some of these look very similar to what you get in Microsoft Office Word and Excel in the Smart Art Gallery for this one for example and some of these other ones are similar and you just basically select the one you want and bring it onto your page so that's one there so you've got little text boxes I can just double click into that and just call that one two three and four and then you can type in some um, words like induction uh, HR finance and then whatever start and then start on that one so there's a very simple shape that you can utilize so if we're going further up the stencils you've got like these little call out symbols so again you just drag onto the sh onto the sheet if it's of use and then some more shapes there again these are similar to what you can get in office desktop version titles if i just drag a title on you could add a title or description that's what was on the top of this one so this one is now sitting slightly too high for the title so I'll just bring that down a little bit and then move this to the top and then you can just add your title just double click on it uh, work process call it whatever you want really add a short description uh, induction I'll do that short enough so that's nice and easy title and there's different styles of titles you can get there and you've got these lots of different arrows so this that's a quite a common one when you want to show a rise in profits or something like that and then at the top you've just got back to the basic shapes if 
for this template. Now across the top you've got normal features you would expect to see on the home tab and bold italic underline and all the colouring in and things like that. Insert option gives you to insert online pictures or just pictures that you've got or stock images whatever you want to do. So if I just bring a, a rectangle on for a minute for example Now on any shape you can just type and it will I'll just type test on there and it will sit inside the shape like a text box it's already sitting on there that's preset if I bring in a picture so I'll go for an online picture and just pick something random animals go for a cat say cat insert that now that's come in as a picture and I can type if I type Steve on there it sits at the bottom there like it's like it would do in Word or something like that you can just sit it at the bottom now if I wanted that in the middle how do I do that so what I would want to do is try and ungroup this and then move that into the middle but the ungroup feature at the top here is grayed out the group feature generally is grayed out so what I can do because you'd better do this with the desktop app is go and open the desktop app if you've got it installed on your computer you have a lot more functionality in terms of manipulating with these things so I'll try and do that open desktop app so now it's opened in the desktop app so if I click on that again just make this a bit bigger so you can see what's going off move it across a bit so that is a text box that's attached to this so what I've got on the tools area at the top here is this tool this is about the text block you're allowed to move a text block so if I sit that over here over here you get this symbol and then I can pick it up I didn't even have to do one group and I can then sit that in the middle then just take that off and then that is in the middle and you go back to the pointer tool and then you've sorted that out now you'll notice going into the desktop app I've got these shapes still coming in as an image like that but what I haven't got is the stencils that you had on the online version this is just this is the basic diagram set of stencils that's what you get when you create a basic diagram in the desktop app so you're going to lose a bit of functionality in terms of what you in terms of what you can get but what I would suggest is you create as much as you can in the online version using all the nice little icons that there are on the online version and then come into this desktop app to do any modifications to your final diagram obviously if you haven't got the desktop app you'll have to stick with the online one and then you've got some restrictions but hopefully that's all I want to talk about in this this little video so hopefully it's been of use grabbing one of the templates in the online version dropping it into the desktop version gives you a bit more functionality in terms of what you can do with the shapes than you can on the online version. So hopefully it's been of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.